This is Shuttle Launch Control at T-minus 5 hours, 54 minutes, 53 seconds and counting. Fueling of Space Shuttle Atlantis is underway with the go for tanking given at 5.56 this morning, one minute after coming out of a one-hour built-in hold. Confirmation that tanking and chill-down operations had actually begun at 5.58. We expect to have some uh, data on the eco-sensors within about the first 40 minutes of tanking. So somewhere around 6.35 or 6.40 this morning, the eco-sensors should be wet. And very shortly after that, we should get some indications about what their status is. We are on schedule. We're not working any problems in the countdown. We are targeting 321 this afternoon for our liftoff time. The weather continues to be favorable. We have just a 20% chance of not meeting the launch weather criteria today due to a slight chance of broken clouds and a slight chance of rain showers. The temperature at launch time will be 75 degrees, relative humidity 74 percent, east-northeasterly winds 10 to 15 knots, and a visibility of 7 to 10 miles. Currently at the launch pad, we have a visibility of 4 miles in ground fog with northerly winds at 5 knots, a temperature of 69 degrees, and a relative humidity of 93 percent. Weather in the solid rocket booster retrieval area also forecast to be acceptable for a launch today with seas just three to four feet. East northeasterly winds 10 to 15 knots and a ocean temperature of 76 degrees. Once again, tanking is underway. Go for tanking coming at 556 this morning, one minute after coming out of our one-hour built-in hold. No other technical issues in work. At T-minus five hours, 52 minutes, 18 seconds, and counting, this is Shuttle Launch Control. Liquid hydrogen on the external tank is now confirmed to be in slow fill, having come out of the chill down process. Chill down still underway on liquid oxygen. Go for tanking came at 5:56 this morning, one hour after coming out of the one minute after coming out of the plan built-in hold. And two minutes later at uh, 5.58, chill down was confirmed to have begun on both liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. So, so far, no issues in work in our countdown this morning, and we continue to just have a 20% chance of having a weather issue. Launch is targeted for 321 this afternoon. And we are targeting a one-minute launch opportunity. At T minus 5 hours, 46 minutes, 36 seconds and counting, this is Shuttle Launch Control. This is Shuttle Launch Control at T-minus 5 hours, 30 minutes and counting. We continue in the slow fill configuration for both liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. And we're about another 10 minutes or so from the point where the eco sensors would begin to be wet by the cryogenics. So far, no indications that uh, anything is a miss and our countdown is going smoothly. 
We continue to just have a 20% concern about weather later this afternoon for liftoff at 3.21 p.m. At T-minus 5 hours, 18 seconds and counting, this is shuttle launch control. This is shuttle launch control at T-minus 5 hours, 17 minutes and counting. We continue to be in slow fill for liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. The chill down process for both was uneventful. Indications that the liquid hydrogen sensors are wet, but we're not up to the 5% point where we would get some indication about how those sensors are functioning. No other issues in work in the countdown. Weather continues to look favorable. With just a 20% chance of not meeting the launch weather criteria today. At T minus 5 hours, 16 minutes, 13 seconds and counting, this is shuttle launch control. 10 seconds and counting. The liquid hydrogen sensors have been cycled and they are all confirmed to be working properly. Once again at this time all four liquid hydrogen sensors are working. We'll continue to monitor those sensors over the course of the next couple of hours. Fast fill of liquid hydrogen is continuing and so is liquid oxygen without any incidents. This was somewhat predicted based on past tanking attempts when we've had a problem with the sensors and then tanked a second time and the sensors have worked properly. So right now this is consistent with our experience base and all four hydrogen sensors are currently operating. This is shuttle launch control at T-minus 5 hours, 3 minutes, 40 seconds and counting. We've just received word from the liquid hydrogen propulsion console that one of the liquid hydrogen sensors, number 3, has failed. Standing by for further action. The plan would indicate that troubleshooting would now proceed.